everyone, Stacy Burke here, and I figured it was time for another Playboy Q and A. I don't know when was the last time I did the last one. I'm I kind of do it like once a month, right? I'm wearing my track shorts again. This is like a mint colored uh, track shorts and has Playboy logo on it right here, and mint half tank top. You hear my neighbors going up and down the stairs. Uh, so yeah, it's like, a, what is it, like a Thursday afternoon, I just got done swimming in the ocean and going for um, a beach walk, so I thought, you know, that would chime in here. <laughs> Drinking, I probably should have made myself another drink, it's like, it's all ice now, it's lemonade. That cool, refreshing drink. Anyway, let's get started, because I figured I'll try to do this more, like, more soon, more soon. I'll try to do this um, instead of waiting for so long because I don't I know, I know you guys probably like an hour long video but I'm like come on I don't want to like I I know me when I see an hour long video I'm like oh my god so I'm so hopefully the video will be like shorter but let's go on oh in case you're wondering what this all is I do a Q and A about Playboy and and um, my time at Playboy. And how I harvest the questions is you comment on below. Like, whatever questions you have, you comment below this video. And the next video, I answer the questions. Because right now I'm going for my last one, my last uh, Playboy Q&A video. And I'm answering questions from there. And once I'm done, I'm not going back to that video. I'm going to this video for my next one and answering the questions there. Alright? So let's get started. Christian Lynn, Christy Lynn asks, would you go on Holly and Bridget's podcast? I think it's so fun and interesting. Love the bond Would you have each other. Yes, I've answered it before. You're going to hear a lot of questions over and over. It's just, it happens. And, um, and if that happens, I'm just going to kind of just hurry it along. But we already established that um, me, Bridget, and Holly all agreed that, yes, I'll go on the podcast when the time comes. Right now, you know, they're going in, in an order. And so when that time comes, we'll, we will go through that. So, yes, the answer is yes. Uh, Deborah Hernandez goes, Can you show us a picture of the Halloween costume you wore at the Playboy Mansion that you had to change, the one with the hooves? I can't picture it. Love you. If you go on my Instagram, also on the Girls Next Door, uh, Holly and Bridget, their podcast, The Girls Next Level, if you go to their podcast Instagram, You'll see the picture. It's basically I'm wearing a white um, corset. Um, I have my, like um, a horse's ears, a big plume. I have a bit gag, you know, like horses have a bit gag. And I have gloves and I have boots that were real horses hooves, like metal. And on the marble floor, it was very slippery. It was, and there's no heel. It was like horses' hooves. And yes, I did change. I gotta find the picture that I changed into. I think I changed into a zebra. It was a horse theme. Um, but yeah. So if you go on my Instagram or on the um, the Girls Next Level Instagram, you'll see that picture. Ed Ed Jersey. I don't. I don't know how to pr pronounce it. The question is, I love watching you on the girls next door. You're so cute and bubbly. My question is, who are these infamous mean girls? Can we get names and pictures? No, because, you know, I, I don't know. It's just best we don't. That's Plus, that's that's the podcast ones, uh, Bridget and Holly. If they feel fit to put the names and the pictures, then they seem fit. That's not my territory, and I'm not going to go there. Because they change the names on purpose, and I don't want to um, counteract that. Um, so there's a reason, so I'm just going to let it go there. But it's really easy to figure out. You just go back to the pictures back at those days, 2002, 2003, 2004, and you can kind of figure it out. <laughs> you can kind of figure it out. Gene um, Spear goes... I have a question. Did any girl ever get snappy with Hef? Like he wasn't treating them nicely and they ever finally had enough or was a straw that broke the camel's back for them? Whatever happened, what, what was his reaction? I'm sure they 
they left, but would have, what would have done? I never really seen anyone get snappy with half, really. I mean, I mean, one guest kind of did, and he never showed up afterwards. But um, I actually know if if any of the girls got angry at half and didn't want to be around, she just would not show up again. And I'm sure there was many of them like that. Because, I mean, we would go through girls like so crazy, and, and not all of them stuck. And not all of them stuck because have allowed them to stick. A lot of them just didn't want any part of it. And so they would just leave. But I can't, uh, I never really saw anyone get really angry at him. Not that I know of. I mean, not that I saw. Um, Queen of Camp asked, Hey, Stacy, did you ever read Is Isabella's book? And if so, what do you think about it? And the girls, the girls next door portrayed. I haven't read it in a long time. It was online and stuff. I kind of just glossed over it because a lot of it was, I guess it could be true in her eyes. And I don't know if it's true what she was talking about other people. But I know mine was very like, she assumed a lot. <laughs> she assumed a lot. And a lot of it wasn't right. Okay, I see a wasp. I'm going to have to close. The, okay, okay, the wasp left. I didn't want the wasp to come in. Um, so, yeah, I got voted off the island. But the way she put it, and like, oh, they were shocked that I did adult things. Like, I never hit it. Like, it was like so weird. It was like, she made it like, she's such a Puritan. And she's not. <laughs> so it's like really really though like I never really kept it a secret they for them to expose it I'm like well yeah I'm a fetish model like yeah <laughs> whatever anyway so I I don't really put too much I don't really care she could write whatever she wants and she did um Dina Granger asked hi Stacy love the vids my question when people would get really drunk after some of the big parties, were allowed to crash in the mansion, or would they lock the doors and make people shuttle back to their cars? Well, it depends. I mean, not everyone was allowed to stay, or else everyone would. I mean, you kind of got a feel for who was okay to stay, who was not okay to stay. And if someone was really, like, really wasted, and they, they didn't have, I mean... You know, they could probably crash. I mean, it, that didn't happen that often. Most of them did get shuttled back to their cars. Only a few that, um, that you know, that we all knew that were okay. You know, they were kind of close to us and stuff. So, yeah, there were a few that would stay. Because we would stay up, like, really late. Sometimes 4 o'clock in the morning sometimes after ordering french fries in the, in, in the, in the guest room. So... Yeah, but then they, they, they pretty much left after that or else you're stuck in your party clothes to the next day. But, yeah, the, I mean, I guess there was a few that stayed, but not that many. Not as much as you would think. Um, Angie asked, hey, Stacy, when you and the other girls needed your clothes washed or carpets vacuumed, did you call someone who was just scheduled for this? Love you. Well, as for vacuuming and cleaning, it was like living at um, a hotel. You have maid service. They come in, they clean, they clean everything. Um, for laundry, we had hampers. If you put your clothes in the hamper, they would take and launder it. And they would ticket it so you, they knew it was yours, and they would launder it. That's only if you left it in the hamper. There's a certain hamper. So they would do all that. Unless you wanted to wash it yourself or dry clean it yourself, don't put it in that hamper. Uh, so that's about it. So we didn't have to worry about any of that. Kim Beard asked, Hi, Stacy. Did you ever feel... Oh, how did you feel flying on that trapeze? I laughed so hard watching that episode. It felt really weird. I don't like roller coasters. I don't like the feeling of going down really fast where you feel your heart in your throat. I don't like that. I didn't know I was going to get that on the trapeze, and I did. And when I was on the trapeze, I think I told you that my hands locked, and I started to shake, and I could not stop shaking like it just was involuntary and I couldn't do anything they told me you know lift your legs do that or and I just couldn't I was just shaking almost like having a seizure and afterwards I asked the guy I go why and he says it's adrenaline you got so much adrenaline in you pumping through you 
that's what it is. So it was a little weird, and I, I did it twice. I went up there twice because I wanted to see if I could stop the shaking. Oh, no, I shook again. That's why they call me the shaking leaf because I'm wearing all green, and I couldn't stop shaking. So, but it was at least I did it. I did it, so I'm, I'm glad about that. Um, the next one, Pam501 asks, Hi, Stacy. Always love seeing you on Girls Like Door and your, di and your dynamic with Bridget. On the show, it seemed that I have ate certain foods and ate them regularly. When it was buffet night, would the staff make the same food for them and other stuff for everyone else? Uh, for have to have his favorites, or would buffet have similar foods? The buffet dinner was, was whatever. Like, it was just whatever the cooks wanted to make. It was all over the place. Basically, home cooked type of meals. Um, Hef would not, sometimes you'd pick at the buffet, you know, like Holly would say, oh honey, that's your favorites over there. Would you like me to get me? And he goes, oh sure. Or he might like look at the dessert. But mainly, he would keep to his own schedule of eating. Either he already ate up in his room before he came down, and or he would eat after dinner in a movie, and he'd go up and he would have a late night dinner. So he would eat on his own. He wouldn't really do the buffet. That was for everyone else. Um, Ola to Aloha asks, Stacy, can you start a podcast called The Ghouls Next Door? All about the haunting scenes and murders of the mansion or and just play Bridget. Well, that's kind of like you know, Bridget's domain, the haunting and stuff. I'm not a fan. I, I think I told you I've had a conversation with dead people. And I told him, don't haunt me. Don't, don't, don't try to uh, contact me because I'm, I'll get scared. And when I die, I'm be a ghost too. And I'm going to go kick your butt. So don't. So I'm not into the haunting things. I, I don't like that. I, get, I generally get scared. So that wouldn't be my thing. That's Bridget thing. And Bridget does have one called Ghost Magnet. Follow her uh, on her YouTube channel. Um, on her Twitter and everything she talks about it. She does do interviews about the paranormal. So talk to Bridget about that. Um, Queen Bubbles asks, where's the cursor? Um, I like your answer to the question about filming the birds chirping. At least it distracted me for a while, but I don't notice them. Okay, she's talking about the birds chirping. A lot of people complain about my birds, but they're going to chirp. That's just the way it is. So, yeah. Some people enjoy it, some people don't, but that's just the way it is. I have birds. Uh, Geraldine O'Brien asks, Hey, beautiful lady, I love how chill and down to earth you are. It's so amazing. Just wondering how often you get recognized by people when you're just out and about doing your day, like grocery shopping. Love you. I don't think I get recognized. If I do, no one really comes out with it. Uh, I got recognized more from my voice. I think I told you someone like heard my voice and they go, Oh my God, girls next door, Stacy. And they, they, they just recognize my voice. Uh, a lot of time has passed. And, you know, I, my look has changed, so it's like, you know, so I don't think they recognize me. Like, I'm not blonde anymore and stuff like that. So I don't think I get recognized, not that I know of. Um, Emily asks, your Q&A is the best. Easy breezy. Love you, Stacey. Thank you. Katie, cool. some of the last names I might not be able to pronounce, so I'm just going to say the first names sometimes. Emily asks, oh, oh, no, I already said that. Katie ask love your channel loving all the juice bridget and holly are sharing on the girls next level i can't wait till you're on the girls are still talking on this week's episode how the dryers changing how the dryers changing up the fun and uh, something else changing up the fun in the sun menus activities and the girls once it was just bridget and holly did you notice any difference in the atmosphere she's talking about how they change the fun and sun yeah i mean once the mean girls left it was like a breath of fresh air it really was. Like, I didn't have to be scared. Like, someone's behind my back. Someone's going to sabotage me. Someone's going to try to get me kicked out again. Because even though I was, like, voted off the island, I really wasn't. I stepped coming up on the weekends. Like, I'd come up on Friday, spend all day Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and go home Monday afternoon. So we're talking, like, four days out of the week that I would be there. So it's like, you know, and I came and went on my own. So it's like... Didn't really. It changed, but not really. And once in a while, I would still go out with them and stuff. And especially when the mean girls left, 
I started going back out with him. It was fun. Like, ah, I'm back. <laughs> so it, it was fine. Um, Yellow goes, I love your energy. Q&A is great. Thank you. Linda Hurst asks, thank you for answering my question. Can't wait to hear it on the girls' lips level. Blue Turtle asks, love the Q&A. Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Lady Monsoon 84 said, did Hef ever have comments in the cleanliness of the girls' room? Bridget room always looked clean and tidy. Um, no, he never really mentioned because he can't. He didn't have room to talk because Hef's room was the worst. <laughs> Hef's room was a hoarder room. He had so much stuff in there. So I don't think Hef ever like made a comment about any of the girls' room. So he was fine with it. Uh, Miss Cat Lady asks, after listening to Holly and Bridget's podcast, I have so many questions about you. Getting vote, voted off the island would be willing to do a full-time story of the events leading up to it. I think I might have already did a story. If you go to my, my, in my Playboy Diaries in the past, I might have already talked about it. But I could do another one. But I've been doing this for quite a while. If you dig through all my videos, I've been on YouTube since 2006. So I think I've talked about it, but I can always talk about it again. But if you dig through it, you'll find it. Uh, Rachel Smith, you have the cutest, sweetest personality. Really enjoy the Q&A with you on the salons. I'm with you on the salons too. Sitting around, around for hours gets boring. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a salon girl. Thank you. Um, Artavella asks, oh my God, I'm gonna freak out when you're on. This can be a fun interview. Yeah, that'll be fun. I can't wait to get with the girls again. Um, 86 AM asks, Hi, Stacy. Thank you for reading my question. And some of the pictures from when you were a girlfriend, you are shown wearing t-shirts with your websites on them. Did you have to ask, have permission to promote your websites? Were the mean girls upset when you wore your promotional t-shirts? How many girlfriends had jobs outside the mansion? Well, I had a lot of t-shirts, like, you know, because I had a website and I was a fetish model. So I had merchandise. So, yeah, I'd wear them a lot. Um, and I thought the Playboy Mansion was the perfect thing to do because there's always cameras, pictures, people taking pictures. So I'm, you know, I'm an opportunist that way. So I do wear them, and he didn't really say anything about that. He was fine with it. That was before they blur things out for TV and stuff like that. So um, what was the other question? The Mean Girls... They might have been upset by my t-shirts, but you know what? They could have done it, too. Like, just because I do it doesn't mean it stops them from doing it. They could have done it, too. So they could have hustled as well. Um, I don't know if any of the girls had jobs. I don't think so. I mean, a lot of them were, like, models and actresses and stuff like that. And I still did my fetish modeling. I would go, during the day, I'd go work and then come back as long as I'm home at night. Uh, and I'm sure they did shoots too. They did bench warmers. That was a, 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 a like a, you know, a trading card uh, company back in the day. They did um, stuff for like uh, costumes, like uh, Halloween costumes. They would model for stuff like that. So they still work doing stuff like that. Same as me. Kat Donaldson asked, with Playboy nowadays not being the big company it once was, do you think Hef and Playboy might have become more successful if they ventured into other avenues like fetish? What would have been something you have been interested in helping out with? Um, you know, I don't know. I don't think they were into fetish. They, the Playboy's very much how Playboy wants to be. They want to be classy, pinup, not fetish. They wouldn't branch out. That's why I think they were so successful. Successful. They kind of just stayed in their own lane and they liked it. Um, also, I'm forever confused about the order that the nice girlfriends arrived in. You were there before or after Holly became a girlfriend, and did Crystal Camden stop dating Hep during the girlfriend or after? Um, well, I kind of kind of dated Hep before, like a long time ago, when he just broke up with. Kimberly and he was dating a girl named uh, Indiana but that was only like a, one date and then I went away and then I came back and when I came back Holly was already a girlfriend I think she just barely moved in because I think she still had like room four or five or something like that um, and then Crystal Camden came later and um, 
And then what else did you ask? Um, and favorite kind of whiskey? I like um, I like Jim Beam. <laughs> Jim Beam is my favorite kind of whiskey. Okay, so uh, next one. Sarah, the domestic goddess, asks, Girl, you really need to become a fellow Bath and Body Works addict if you love seasonal smells. Yeah, I do like seasonal spells, smells. I do get a lot from Amazon. Like, like I use um, Beach. Like, right now I'm using this thing called Beach by Bobby Brown, and it smells like suntan lotion. And during the fall, I have uh, some cologne that um, uh, Rihanna has. I forget what it is, but I, 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 I put it in water in a spray bottle so it's not so strong. Um, so I like seasonal smells, smells, and yeah, I do like Bath and Body Works, but then I'll go on Amazon and I'll find a cheaper version of whatever, so I go on there, but I, that's my thing, like, during the fall, I like to smell like fall, during winter, I like to smell like winter stuff, like, I feel like I'm a Yankee candle, I'm basically a human Yankee candle, <laughs> they should come up with the sprays, uh, Yankee candles, body sprays, that'd be funny. Um, Alex Luna asked, what happened to y'all relationship with Crystal Camden? I know the girls don't follow her on IG. Well, I don't know. I think they follow her. I follow her. Um, I think they follow her. I follow her. I think we all love Crystal, so everyone's fine. I mean, I think we're all living in different areas. Like, I haven't seen the girls in person in about three about three, at least three years, but we'll see each other again soon. We'll all get together eventually. Miss Blue asks, Stacy, I love your videos. My question is, do you and Bridget still go to the Ren Fair? I love the episode when you have and the girls went. Uh, I haven't been to the Ren Fair in a while because, like I said, they, they jumped the shark when they started doing a, um, when they did the food trucks. <laughs> I haven't been in a while. I might go next year. I don't know if Bridget's been to it, but I haven't been in a few years because it's just not the same as it used to be. Uh, Christina English asks, Hi, Stacy. Happy Monday. Thank you for your channel. Did the readers of Playboy magazine choose the Playmates, or was it how in the back days, early days, describing the secrets of documentary? I don't know how they would choose the Playmates. I think girls would like... Uh, audition or they would find models or, or they or or friend of a friend and, and they would try out I mean they would always try out and they would do a test run and see if they were playmate material um, and if they weren't they didn't they were used as cyber girls or playmate girls or the girls of um, college issue or something uh, so I don't know. They would just find them like how you find any kind of someone. You know, you audition and see if they fit. And then a lot is voting as well to be the Playmate of the Year. Uh, Felicity asks, Hi, Stacy. I love your channel and videos. You talked about how fun and wild your wedding was on the show. It would be great if you did a reaction video to it. Maybe you could do it with Bridget and Holly on the podcast. I think it would be so much fun. Sure, I'm open to that. It was a while, like, I really wish that there was outtakes of my wedding episode because it was a lot going on. And I know there was a lot going on in the guys' room, not just with the girls, because I know the guys are crazy. And I heard, like, how crazy it was in the guys' um, uh, hotel room. So I would love to see that footage or to see, I would love if they could find that because there was just so much going on. And I'm being really honest. There was so much. Because not only the wedding, but before the wedding and the dinner before the wedding and the, the bus ride. And, and just and then we had the after party on stage. And then the wedding and the reception. And it was just crazy. Then and the bachelor party and the bachelorette party. Like what they put was just like nothing compared to the whole weekend. It was crazy. Super crazy. Um... Courtney asks, hey, Stacey, love the videos. What's one thing Hef would do or say that most people wouldn't know from the girls next door or internet? Any one-liners? Did you come to the mansion before, before Holly? How did your first night go with Hef? Did you ever give a mini tour or to home or animals or set, or set up your birds and cats and such? Well, one-liners, yes, Hef had a lot, but I don't remember them. 
I don't remember him, but he did he did have his can of one liners that he would use, like jokes and stuff like that, like dad jokes and stuff, like, oh honey. You know, so like he did have but I don't remember them. Um I kinda was before Holly, but as a girlfriend, no, I was after Holly. Um my first night with Hap went fine. Uh, a mini tour, yes, I gave tours to a lot of people. My friends, my family, the people I worked with um, at this restaurant I used to work with. So I gave a lot of tours, uh, a lot. So yes, but they were mainly people that I knew, so I gave them the tours. Um, and my cats lived there. I had three cats at the time. I had Johnny Cat, I had Keiko, and I had Bear. Those are the three cats I had. They're, they're all, they all passed away since then. But yes, I did have my cats live there. So it was awesome. I didn't have birds at the time. So I just had my cats. Uh, Jilkana asks, Hey Stacy, no question moment. Just happy to hear you're monetized again. Yep, I'm monetized. Woohoo! Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And hit that notification button. Zach Garcia asks, Hey Stacy, did you ever talk? Can you ever talk about a little about the Mary O'Connor experience with her? Just discover your channel, really enjoying it. I think I have, and if if needed, I'll I'll talk more about it. But I think I have just scroll through um, my past Q and As. I have talked about it. Uh, you Tan asked, Hey Stacy, did you ever miss spending time with Half? Also, I know there was a night curfew. Did you all have to wake up by a certain time too? Yes, I do miss half a lot. Um, there was no time to, you could wake up whenever you wanted. So that was fine. Um, yeah, you just, you could go to sleep anytime you wanted to. You didn't have to go to sleep at a certain time. You just have to be in the house at nine, which I totally makes sense. I wouldn't want like people come in and out all hours of the night. That's kind of just kind of icky feeling. I wouldn't like that. And I totally, totally get it. And it's not safe for the staff knowing, okay, who's coming in, who's that. It's just, so I totally, totally understand. Parker's wife asks, hi, Stacy, would you please share your skincare secrets? Do you look flawless? You and Holly and Bridget look younger by the day. I need your secrets. Thank you. Uh, I don't really have any secrets. I exfoliate. I wash my face really harsh, almost to the point that sometimes it bleeds. I just exfoliate a lot. I love vitamin A, retinol, vitamin C. And hydrocholic acid, hydrocholic acid, whatever that is, I use that on a daily basis on my face, um, my skin. I moisturize with the same thing, but I don't really take that good care of myself because I'm always in the sun. Um, I don't drink that much water. I'm drinking lemonade, which I probably should drink water, but in fact, I put the I put lemonade and ice in the blender, so it's kind of like a slushy. It's good. Um, so that's my secret, I guess. There, there's some craziness going outside. It's weird. It's all quiet, and as soon as I hit record, parties go on. People go up and down the stairs. Gets loud. Spurts law. Um, aloha, oh, aloha, oh, no, hola to aloha. Asked. I just listened to Girls Next Level podcast. My question is: It seems Holly and Bridget want to stay in the mansion for selfish reasons. I didn't want Stacy to get, get kicked out. She's my only friend. Do you think they were true friends back? Were you worried, worried that, about themselves, not worried about you getting bullied? Oh, I don't know. I think they were worried about me getting bullied, and at the same time, they didn't want a friend and ally to leave because I was on their side and. I got along with them, and so um, I don't think it was selfish reasons. I think it was a lot of reasons. There was, they, you know, they were worried about me, and they didn't want me to leave. And at the same time, they were friends with me, and they didn't want me to go. But still, the left lap is on the mean girls because I didn't go anywhere. I just wasn't officially a girlfriend. You know what I mean? Like I didn't go on the plane rides. I didn't. I wasn't a girlfriend, but I was there at the mansion and I, w I hung out with them. I was still there. So I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> Takes a lot to get rid of me. Um, okay. Um, uh, then she goes, uh, okay. Elizabeth Staines asks, 
Hey, love the bird chirp ambiance and girl, I'm 40 and identify with the waves of depression too. Yoga helps. Your vids are special joy to me. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Elizabeth. And then Melissa asks, if possible, can you do an early 2000s makeup tutorial? I would love to see how you make up. Yeah, one of these days. It's a heat wave now, so all I basically have is like lip balm and mascara. Um, but yeah, I do love the lip liner and I do love the lip balm still. And I do love the lashes. I kind of have a look that I stick around. But the only thing different back then, I wore a lot of highlighter around here. Like a lot of highlighter. Like extreme. In the summer, I don't need it because I wear sunglasses all the time. So I kind of, if you could tell, I have a natural highlight. Like just because I wear sunglasses all the time for that reason. So I have a nat, so I don't have to use highlighter. But in the wintertime, when I don't have the tan, yeah, I used to use a lot of highlighter. Um... Caitlin asks, hi, Stacey, do you have a favorite party at the mansion? Midsummer's Night Dream was my favorite. Do you have a favorite costume? No, I don't even remember any of my costumes. I did like the horse's outfit. I did like it. Whether they didn't or not, it cost me $1,000 to make, which wasn't that much. But I had it custom made, and I thought it was kind of unique. Surely, the only thing that was fetishy was the bit gag. I mean, the horse's shoes, Lady Gaga wears shoes like that now. It's kind of fashionable. In fact, even the bit gag's kind of fashionable now. So, I like that outfit. I think that was my favorite outfit. Uh, oh, I don't even know how old I was when I first met Hef. I would have to look. I would have to look that up. Um, I know the mansion was it was huge. With a lot of rooms. Was there any rooms or areas of the mansion that was off limits? To no, I'm trying to think of anything were off limits. I mean, other people's rooms, of course, or you just couldn't go to Hef's room whenever you wanted to. Uh, you didn't want to really bother the staff by going into their areas or or their office areas, but you kind of could go anywhere you wanted to. So there wasn't really anything off limits. Um... Holly and Bridget said the girls allowed to do anything during the day as long as we're back at the mansion at nine. What did your day look like? Love from Australia. Well, well, if I wasn't working, either I had a photo shoot or, or me and Bridget go do something because Bridget always had a full, a full list of things she had to do. She wanted to do like go to Michael's, get this, get fabric, get Joanne's fabric, go here, go there. You know, take Gizzy for grooming. So I would just, I would just like, I tag along a lot of times. Uh, so, yeah, I would hang out with Bridget or, or, or do whatever. Or if there was something mansion, something that was going on at the mansion, I would do that. So there was always something to do. And this is before, like, the Internet was really, like, how it is. There was really no social media. Um, but there was still always something to do. I mean, you're in L.A. Frank asks, I don't know a lot about Stacey Burke, but I like her a lot. Oh, thank you, Frank. I started watching Holly Madison, and I got here. I have to say, Stacey is adorable and fun to watch. I watch a few of the videos, and she keeps me interested, and a fan will, will follow her. I'm in Ohio. The Midwest loves you, Stacey. We love you. Oh, I love you, Frank. Thank you so much. That's really sweet of you. Welcome aboard. I'll do, I do videos all the time. Been doing it since 2006, and nothing's going to stop me, so it's going to be a fun ride. Jay Loves 95 asks, Hi, Stacy. Have, have you mentioned that you were always treated like an outsider by the mean girls? Why is that? Why couldn't you go out and be seen with them? Did Hef know this was going on? Did he stand up for you? Well, that's kind of all been discussed. I mean, I don't know if he saw it, and if he did see it, he didn't really care or whatever. But he kind of went to bat for me because when they voted me off, he really didn't want me to go, obviously. You know, he had me stick around anyway. So he did go for bat for me. So, um, you know, so Holly kind of discusses it a little bit. A little bit was he's trying to m make everyone get along. At the same time, he kind of liked the friction. So it is what it is. You know, it's life. It's life. Have or no have, it, there's always going to be mean girls and there's always going to be bullies and that's just how you, this is life. You have to get through it. Um, April asks, I love that you were an Avon lady. I used to love the Avon catalog. Yeah, I used to love Avon too much actually. 
I would spend more of my money on Avon than making money. So that's why I got out of it. Uh, Millie Fields asks, Hi, Stacey. How did you find out you're no longer the Manson guest list? Did you receive a call? How'd that process work? Well, that was towards the end. They were getting rid of a lot of people. And no, I didn't get a call or anything. I kind of just stopped going. And then one day I decided to go. And then they told me, you know, the security said that, oh, you're no longer on it. And I thought maybe it's just because I didn't, because I wasn't going up there. Because I kind of got a little, you know, like I was married and, and going up there was getting kind of tedious and stuff. So I kind of stopped going. And then I found out later I was off the guesses. I think that's part of it too, when they're making the checking people off to uh, shorten the guest list. You know, like, well, Stacy hasn't really come up anymore. Okay, because I, I kind of stopped going as, as often. The sawmill asked, Stacy, how long do you think you'll keep doing fetish modeling? Do you plan on doing other type of modeling, film, commercials, bikini? Well, I did all that. Bikini, film, and stuff. I'm kind of done with all that. And I do fetish modeling only when the phone rings. If someone calls me and wants me to work and I'm available, I'll do it. Uh, but mainly I do my laundry delivery service. Um, I do. I work the strawberry farms. I work the pumpkin patch. Um, the, you know, I do the Christmas trees. Like I, I have lots of different side jobs. So that's mainly what I do. But I'll do fetish modeling, and I still do the fetish con. I go travel for that. So that keeps me busy. I like having a lot of different jobs, so I don't get bored. It'd be really weird just having one job. I don't know if I could just have one job. But I don't know. Who knows? I might do commercials or film or extra work again, but I kind of doubt it. I don't think I will. Uh, Cece asks, I had no idea Jill died. just read her book recently. But now just found out, I have to look her name, look up her name, Jill Guilford, to see the article to what happened. So sad. I know. I was like, I was shocked too. She's, she, she came up with us for like a weekend and then and wrote a tell-all book. But yeah, I didn't know she died violently too. Jill Guilford. Jill Gifford is her name. If you want to look up what happened to her, it's kind of sad. Mm. Utopia Foods asks, love your videos. Thanks for doing them. You're the best. Thank you so much. Blue Turtle asks, question for the next Q&A. Do you still have the same beachside apartment and what is rent like? Yep, I still do. And rent is high. <laughs> Very high. But your grandfather did. Like, I've been here since 19... I mean, I had... Well, I had the apartment a few doors down and then I have this one. So I've been living... Well, my mom used to live on this street back in 79 when she was young so when I was young I would come out here a lot but uh, at the beach but as an adult I'd had this beach apartment since 1999 so um, so since I've been here so long rent's expensive but it's it's a lot better than if I were to move out and get another because you know once you're in they raise it slowly uh, and so you're kind of grandfathered in, but once you leave, it, yeah, if I went, if I were to go someplace else, I would probably spend double what I spend. And yes, it's pretty high. Of course, rent's high everywhere right now. So it's, it's bad right now. So it's not a good time to move. Not a good time to move. Um, Casey Beaver asks, I love your content. I appreciate so much you talk about Playboy. And not just for the money. Playboy means a lot to me. It was part of my 20s. My question is, how do you feel about the majority dissing Kendra for sticking up for half? I don't know. I, I don't really care. Like, people could say all they want. Kendra is going to say what she thinks. Holly's going to say what she says, what she thinks. Uh, in other words, I'm going to say what I think. Like, we all have our own stories, and I'm not going to argue any of them. Because everyone has their own different eyes, their own set of ears, and they all hear and see different things, and they all have different stories. So I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, I really feel Holly and Bridget were jealous of Kendra because of her and Hef were so close. I don't know about that. Because um, they've, they've had Hef for a long time before her, so I don't know if it's a jealousy thing. I don't think so. That's not my opinion, so... 
that's all I have to say about that. Abby Olson asks, Hi Stacy, would you talk about your first night going out with half and the girlfriends going upstairs if Holly and Bridget asked? Yeah, like I would talk about that on the on the show, of course. Maybe you talk about you still what you remember about Holly and Bridget first time going out with half girlfriend experience of the oh my god. I think you just wrote that twice. I think because it's the same thing. Can you spill on who the recruiter was? I'm not going to spill who the recruiter was, but I think you can kind of figure it out. I'm not going to, um, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to, I'm not going to mention names because that will be like disrupting what Holly and Bridget are, are trying to do. Um, Haley, did you notice a change of pace when Crystal came back to have after she cut off the wedding? Do you believe she had any doings with people being off the invite list? I don't know if she had any say-so being on off the invite list. I really don't know. I wasn't really that close. And I wasn't, like I said, I kind of stopped going as often as I was. So I wasn't really close to the situation at that time. And I really didn't mind being off the list. It was kind of sad, but at the same time, it was kind of relief. <laughs> Because, um, you know, I just had my own life and I had my own things going on. Um, and, okay, Ryan McKinley asks, Hey, Stacy, what are the true stories about the drugs and partying in the bedroom? In your time, how much of Holly's books are true? How much is made up of just lies? Well, I mean, drugs, I mean, if you're talking about pot, there was pot. Um... Yeah, he did have the quaaludes. He, he'd cut them up in like in fours, so it wasn't a full quaalude. And you, if you wanted one, you would get one. A lot of girls would take the quaalude because um, this is what they said to me. They said they they rather take that and not drink because they're watching their weight, and they didn't want to drink, and so that was their way to party without drinking, and then they would just drink water. So that's what they would tell me. I was always scared to try one, so I didn't. Um, but that was it, pot, and that is the only thing I saw as in drugs, uh, drinking, yeah, champagne and, and alcohol, I seen that. So those are only three things, the quaaludes, um, the alcohol, and pot. Those are the only things I saw with my own eyes. Um, what else? Did I miss anything? Uh, so, yeah, so... And, you know, it's like Playboy, so people party, you know. Um, Shiley Dawn asked, Stacy, in Isabella's book, she said they took a vote to have you leave the mansion, and it was unanimous. I find it hard to believe since Bridget and Holly are friends. Do you think it was true? or any? Well, unanimous, I mean, there was more of the mean girls at that time. And Holly didn't really know me that well, so I could see if she would say voted out because... She didn't know me that well. And Bridget was so new, she was probably scared to, like, go against them. So we're talking, like, all of them, and they were only two votes. If they did vote for me, it would still go towards the voting out. So I didn't really, I didn't, I wasn't really mad at them. The ones I was mad at and hurt by are the ones that already knew that I did that. And I worked with them on sets. I'm like... You knew. It's not, you're acting all shocked. <laughs> like, you knew. You knew. So that was like, because Holly and Bridget, they didn't know me. So I could see them being shocked. Like, oh, my God. Stacy does that? Like, I could see them. The other girls knew. So that was why I didn't like that part. Um, Andrew, did he have any collections you know of? Did he collect things like cars and trophies? He had a lot of stuff. He collected things, but not meaningful. It was just like people would give him things, and he would just... He had art. He had a lot of art on the walls. He had a lot of sculptures, art. He loved taking pictures. He had scrapbooks, so he had that. He had tons of scrapbooks, everything, everything on film and video. So he was kind of a collector of everything. And I think he only had a couple cars, but he stopped driving. So he, I think he had this one fancy car that I think that Holly started driving. I forget what, what it was, but it was kind of like a James Bond type of car. But, yeah, he kind of collected almost everything. Uh, just He just did. Um, mainly art. Art and sculptures and photos. Um, 
Helen asked, I heard on movie nights behind the two couches, everyone else had to sit on plastic chairs. Even the guests, is that true? Was it awkward? Well, yeah, I mean, we did have lots of couches. We had pillows. We had lots of furniture. But we had a lot of people to watch the movie. So, yes, we had fold-out chairs. Like the metal, like when you go to a wedding, a fold-out chair, we had those. So it was kind of funny when you saw someone very important, like big wig, stay for a movie, and they're on this fold-out chair that you could buy at Walmart type of chair, like a flimsy chair. So, yeah, we did have a lot of those. That is true. Um, and awkward, I guess, but that's just the way it was. That Girl Jackie vlogs as this is a question, but I freaking love you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, That Girl Jackie. All times when my mom asks, I need you on that podcast. That'll happen. Angie asks, what kind of food would they serve at the parties? Was it different than each party? It was similar, but it was like, you know, like little pizzas, lots of shrimp, crab legs. There could be some steak stuff, um, like like appetizers, hors d'oeuvres, edamames, like your normal party food. Sliders, you know, stuff like that. They did a lot of stuff like that. Um, it was good. I love party food. S, oh, just S. S, as I know Bridget also had an apartment for a while after moving in. How did you guys afford apartments and things your allowance you weren't covered for? Well, I still worked. I still did, I, did, I still have my web, website. I still did my photo shoots. I was still, I still did what I, when I had my apartment. So yeah, I kept my apartment. Um, so yeah, and then half would give of us an allowance, and then um, so and then for parties, you give us extra for our clothes. So yeah, I mean, I guess I could have saved a lot of money by not having an apartment. Could have saved a lot of money, but I just didn't feel like I should have given it up. I just didn't want to give it up. This looks really weird. It looks really baggy. I guess they are kind of baggy. But, oh, well, it's comfortable. Um, hi, Kristen Lynn asks, oh, Carrie Bearers asks, yay, can't wait. Hi, Stacy. Then Kristen Lynn asks, hi, Stacy. If there was, if there was maybe some place you could have went with, with a show, where would you want it to go? Oh, God, I don't know. I mean, when they went to New York, I really wish I went to New York. That was right when I started being a girlfriend. And for some reason, I was just too new that I didn't go to New York. That would have been cool. Because I, I, I've been to New York, I think, one or twice. But it had been really cool to go with half. Like, it would have been really cool. Because I went on my own. And you just see stuff. And you don't really see it all. Like, going out with half to New York would have been really cool. Because you, you would get to really see it. So that was probably me, my regret, regret or if that if place I would say, let's go to New York. Like, I, I want to see Times Square, and I want to see it through the Playboy eyes. That would have been really cool. Um, da, 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 da. Come on, scroll. Um, Shant Garcia asks, hey, I was wondering how did you stop STDs from spreading? My understanding, I have never used condoms. New girls were invited all the time. As you still clean, I don't mean this disrespectively. Well, doctors. I never got one, so I'm fine. I, I don't know. I, I know other girls did. Um, baby oil is really bad for you down there. Um, that's why we showered afterwards, before and after. We showered and cleaned ourselves off. Um, and there was a doctor on duty, so if you ever feel something, you go to the doctor. So that's the best thing I could tell you. It's like, you know, you just clean yourself, and that's how I, 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 stay, pretty, I stay pretty clean. But uh, I, don't, I can't vouch for anyone else. I know there probably was stuff going on. But, um, yeah, we just had a doctor and just keep yourself clean, I guess. That's the only thing I could say, and luck, and I guess some luck. Uh, Paulette asks, hi, Stacy, love your videos. What was the grotto like? I liked it. I love pools. I love swimming. 
and I love the grotto and I love hot tubs and me and Bridget would go there and have a glass of wine and just sit in the grotto. I, I love the grotto. I miss the grotto a lot. Uh, Holiday asks, are you afraid of creatures under the sea? I live in Florida by the Atlantic Ocean. I'm afraid to go in the water because of sharks. No, I'm pretty good. I don't like the seaweed feeling on my legs, but I, I don't. I, I don't really think about it too much. I'm okay with it. Uh, Sherry Miller goes, I love your chirping birds. Angelino interrupted, asked, did you ever witness Holly Samus during the time of the mansion? Were you shocked when she finally left? Um, no, I wasn't really shocked at her sadness. Like, I, I totally understand her sadness. And when I saw her sad, I, I totally get it. And I, yeah, I guess I was kind of shocked when she left. I thought she'd stay with Hep towards the end, you know, because the kids were getting older. I knew that maybe after the kids turned 18, he would, might marry. But I think Holly's just time clock was ticking. She just wanted to get married and have kids, so I totally get it. You know, she just didn't want to wait around forever, and she had other things, and she just, well, she could tell you more about it than I can. She has told you about it, so. But yeah, I guess I was shocked that she, she left. I thought her and Hef would be together forever. I really did. Um, Jay asked, do you think the Mean Girls will speak out on anything that Holly and Bridger are saying in the podcast? Maybe, but is anyone going to listen? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. They can say whatever they want. They can say whatever they want. Uh, Angie asks, would you bring Crystal to your YouTube channel? Do you think she would make an appearance on the Girls Next Level? She might make an appearance on, you know, I'm sure the, the, the invitation's and for her and if she wants to come to my youtube channel she can but there's no payment involved I, you know like i don't if she's welcome to come over here on my youtube channel or you know or, or if she has one i'll go on like i'm fine with it you know i don't know if she wants to come all the way over here just to talk on my youtube channel but she's welcome to it'll be kind of fun um angelino so interrupted asked some of the questions you guys are asking have already been answered <laughs> okay true Jurassic Step asks, Placebo, you are you are friends with Holly and Bridget, and you like Placebo? I knew you were my people. I also spend 60% of my life in the bathroom watching these YouTube videos and smoking a J. I'm in there now. How funny. Yeah, I do like the band Placebo. And I like the band Sparks and, and Panic in the Disco. And I'm going to go see Roger Waters. And I'm going to go see Roxy Music. I finally got tickets to Roxy Music, so I can't wait for that. Shani goes, what are your best beauty secrets? Thank you. Vitamin C, E, and retinol on the face. That's that's all I could really say and exfoliate. Angie also asks, what kind of advice would you give someone starting to start at OnlyFans? Just post whatever you want. You don't have to be adult with OnlyFans. You can do whatever you want. It's basically social media, but you get paid for it. So you can make videos like YouTube. You could do cooking shows. You could do yoga. You can do whatever you want. All it, The only thing different is you get paid for it. And they take 20%, but you get paid for it. You can do live shows and everything. I recommend it. You can do anything. Like, seriously, it's not just adult. You can do anything you want. Anything you want. Try it out. Try, it's free. doesn't cost you anything to set it up. Set it up and have fun with it, girl. Um, Danny says, I love you, Stacy. Thank you, Danny. Alada asks, if you could choose any profession to be in, what would it be? Do you have a career goal? <laughs> I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. I have no career goal. I have no idea. There's so many jobs in the world that I think they're all fascinating. So I don't know. I still don't know what I want to do when I grow up. I still don't know. Angie asks again, if I were you, I would create a, a new channel for the Playboy content and monetize it. Oh, it's, it's here. The Playboy content's on my YouTube channel, and it's monetized. I'm pretty sure it is. So, it's monetized. Uh, Aurora asks, Stacy, how long have you been vegan? What made you become vegan? I think I've been vegan for like 10 years now. And it's mainly for the animals. It's just like, I never really ate that much meat to begin with. Um, I would just look at cows and I feel sorry for them. And I just don't... I don't need to murder anything to survive. I'm fine with plant-based. I just don't want any murder in my mouth. I just don't want anything to... I don't want to kill anything. I just don't want 
to be responsible for anything being dead. I don't even kill a spider anymore. My cat will bring in an, a, a bug and I, I will make sure he, they drop it and I put it in a cup and I throw it outside. I, I don't want even bugs to be killed. So, yeah, I'm, yeah. That's mainly it. I just don't want to kill anything. Um, Angie asks, who was your favorite animal at the Manson Zoo? There was a Toucan Sam. I forget the name, but it was like one of those big, you know, like Fruit Loops birds. Oh my God, this is almost an hour. Oh my God. I can't get away from these hour videos. Cece Lynn, Stacy, Stacy, love your humility and honesty over the years. I can't, oh, I don't want to say that. Uh, she strikes me, okay, I don't want to say that. Um, okay, yeah, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. Sorry, Cece. As I asked, did you stop going to house bedroom when you stopped being a girlfriend? Yep. <laughs> yep. That's another reason why the girls probably hate me. Because I still went up there. I, you know, so yeah. You know. But I didn't go. I wasn't a girlfriend anymore. So that, that, that stopped then. Bono Cat asked, what was Keith Hefter like? Did he always have young girlfriends like him? I like Keith. Keith was a good guy. And yes, he had young girlfriends. But he had like all different kinds of girlfriends. Uh, all different kinds. He didn't really have a type. Uh, he just had all kinds of girlfriends. In the very end, I think he did get married. I forget her name. But she was really nice. Um, I used to see her on Instagram. I don't see her that often. You know, sometimes like you follow people and then all of a sudden you don't see, like they're not in your out, out of the rhythm. Is that how you call it? I'm going to have to actually physically look her up and wonder why I don't see her on my feed anymore. Because sometimes th things don't pop up on your feed anymore. You're like, well, what happened? Why aren't they, why aren't they on my feed anymore? It's weird. Um, Marquetta asked, do you still have any of the costumes, outfits you wore? Yeah, I have some of the, I have some of my outfits from the Playboy eras. Not that many, and I'd have to really dig for them. Because I wore a lot of my own clothes. And so I, I haven't really thrown away a lot of stuff. So I have a lot of stuff still. Mick Mac asks, I know of you because of Holly and Bridget messing on the podcast. You should do their podcast. Yes, I will. Chrissy Leas, hi Stacy, love your channel. Can you link your hair color? I couldn't find it by name. Thanks in advance. Well, I don't have it with me, but it's L'Oreal Preference by L'Oreal, and it's called Reddish Blonde. I don't remember the, the name, but it's, if I ever find it, if, it's on my Instagram somewhere, but it's Preference by L'Oreal called Reddish Blonde, and that's my hair color. And I just do the roots. I don't do the rest of it. I just do the roots of it. Um, and she asks, what's the craziest thing that happened to you on the beach? Oh God, there's, that's, that's gonna take a lot to answer because that's not even playboy. That's a lot to answer, but the beach is crazy. The beach is crazy. That's a lot to answer because that's a long story. So remind me to get, remind me to go to that because this is long already. This is like an hour. So Angie, just put that on the next video and hopefully we'll have time to answer that one. Um, Andy Ram asks, why do you, why were you asked to leave the man as a girlfriend for she'll be obtaining the parties? Because everyone liked me. Just because I was not a girlfriend doesn't mean that I couldn't come up. Like, half liked me. What can I say? He liked me. He really liked me. And everyone else liked me. Just because they don't want to be a girlfriend. You know? So, yeah. What can I say? They liked me. Um... Junior Sierra asked, did Hef ever have an Asian, black, or Latino girlfriend in the past? Yeah. In fact, when I was a girlfriend, he had one, I forget her name, too, but she was a very big, busted, tiny waist, big booty, long black hair, Asian woman, and I totally forget her name. She was very beautiful, though. Um, Nancy Valdez asked, I also don't want to know. I also don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Welcome to the club. Liv Wilder asks, I was screaming Rihanna. Oh yeah, because I couldn't think of Rihanna's name in the last video. Yeah. Angie asks again, I'm trying to become vegan. What's your favorite meat and cheese vegan products? Beyond Meat's pretty good. The sausage one's pretty good. The the fried chicken's pretty good for vegan. 
Um, the cheese, I think I have is follow my heart. The cheddar cheese seems to be better for vegan cheese. The, and the smoked Gouda is good. Provolone's pretty good. They're all pretty good. In fact, I'm full because I ate, I made a, um, a buffalo chicken sandwich. I'm really into the buffalo sauce. So I made um, a sandwich, which is basically like fried chicken but vegan with um, with lots of buffalo sauce and pickles and and, and uh, coleslaw and, and lettuce. And it's like, oh, my God, I'm so full. I am so full right now. Um, then a bunny asked, unconscious for 2023 20, the cure cool you're gonna see the cure i know everyone's in concert now tammy asked what season was your wedding on the girls next door i think it was season five called tying the naughty tying the naughty season i believe i'm season five um nikki p asked hi stacy what do you do for work now everything i'm a jack of all trades i love lot i like to work no matter what i always see what's what who's hiring and i'll put my head in and i'll work so i'm a workaholic although during the summer i have summer off i have these three months off and i still do my fetish modeling but i can't wait to get back to work 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 which is october i'm going back to work work and i cannot wait rebecca asked some nice man here get these tickets y'all oh i don't know tickets i don't know maybe my concert tickets yes please Orange Julia asked, you're as cute as can be. Thank you, Orange Julia. I like the name. Elena uh, Alexandra asked, hi, Stacy. Were the butlers living butlers? No. They had their own places, but they, they were there at the mansion a lot. So they practically were, but no, they had their own. They all had their own places. Ryan McKinley asked, are you still married today? Nope, I'm divorced. You could follow that along, too, in my divorce diaries. Ryan McKinley asked, if you aren't married today... Did, why did the relations resolve? Follow in the divorce diaries. It's a long story. Long story on that one. Makilia asked, I don't mean to be intrusive, but why did you lose most of your money? I didn't lose most of my money. I saved my money. I don't I never really had that much money to begin with, so I didn't lose my money. It's still there. <laughs> Uh, all timers with my mom says star 80. I don't know what that meant. And I, that's it. That is woohoo! It's over an hour, so I am sorry for the long one. But, um, so any questions that I didn't get to, or any questions you have about Playboy related, put them down on the bottom of this video. And the next video, I'll answer them all. Okay? So that was really fun. I don't want to keep too much. Uh, I don't want to stand on ceremony and, and talk your ear off for the next 10 minutes or so. So I'm just going to leave it right there. To all my Stace Cadets and all my Briquettes, I hope you have a groovy day. Until next time, peace. Links below. Leave me a comment. And hit that like button. And subscribe. And thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye, guys.